Hey everybody, Drake Blackwell here, and today I plan to show you how to download, install, and get going with Kingdom Hearts Final Mix Randomizer for PC. For this, you're going to need the Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 and 2.5 Remix for PC, which you can get through Epic Games. You're also going to need the official, original Kingdom Hearts Final Mix.exe 1.0, which I will provide in the video description as well as KHPC speedrun tools by Denonator, and specifically the 1FM mods folder from his GitHub. You will also need either Lua Frontend by Topaz TK or Lua Backend Hook by Sirius902. So to get started installing the randomizer, the first thing you're gonna need, of course, is the game itself. I can't help you get that. Uh, but you can get it through the Epic Games Launcher. Um, however you choose to install it, that's up to you. But you do need the official PC version, not uh, a PS3 version emulated or anything like that. Once you have the PC version installed, you're going to go ahead and go to Deno's Git. I will leave a link to this in the description. Links to everything will be in the description. And if GitHub is overwhelming, if you're not used to using it, don't worry. This is actually pretty simple. What you're going to do is click on this green code button, and it's going to pop this open. You just want the last option, download zip. I've already downloaded it apparently five times because Deno has updated it. I've lost track of it. I'm not a very organized person, but go ahead and just download this zip file. I have it pulled out here on my desktop. You're going to get khpc speedrun tools main.zip. So go ahead and open that up. And what you're looking for are these rando files and scripts folders in there. Now you go into 1fm mods and then you'll find rando files scripts config.ini readme.txt. So what you want is rando files and scripts. I'll go ahead and just show you. You're just pulling them straight out of the zip folder. Now, these are what's going to actually randomize the game for you. What you're going to then want to do is open up the scripts folder, and this is more than you need. There's a detailed list of what everything does on his GitHub, if you want to look into that for yourself. But the ones I recommend deleting are 4BY3, Chaos, Early skip, 1FM unlock zero volume because it will be broken on the version of the game that we're playing. And if you would like to, you can delete fast camera. It won't break anything and it'll be completely compatible with other people racing. That's an entirely preference based choice. I like it, so I'm going to leave it in my install. And that's everything you need from Deno. Moving forward, you're going to have to make a choice and either run Lua Frontend or Lua Backend Hook. There are benefits and disadvantages to both, but they'll both get you to the exact same place and be completely compatible with everybody else playing the randomizer, uh, even if you want to race them. So it doesn't matter. I could be using Backend Hook and you could be using Frontend and we could still get the same seed. I'll show you how to do Lua Frontend first because it's a little simpler and a lot of people might like it more, but I will take the time to show Lua backend hook at the end. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to our Discord server, the KHFM Rando server, which a link will be provided to, and you're going to go to the channel Lua Updates and grab this, Lua Frontend 1.25.7 zip, or you can download it. Again, everything will be in the description. But you're going to get this folder, or this zip archive, and you're going to go ahead and make a folder for all of the files in here. I've just got one created on the desktop. Now, it doesn't matter where you make this folder. Uh, you could leave it on your desktop. You could put it in a storage folder. You could put it in your install folder. It doesn't matter. So you're going to go ahead and open up Lua Frontend, and you're not going to at first have a rando files folder or a scripts folder. So what you can actually do. I'll show you, you can just, del I'll delete my rando files folder. You can just copy that folder in here. 
And this is everything you downloaded from Deno, completely untouched, and that's done. As for scripts, however, you're going to have to make a little folder hierarchy. You can ignore most of these, but what you do need to create is KH1GL. And again, I'll type that in the description below so that there's going to be no confusion. And then you're going to go ahead and dump all of the scripts you want to keep into here. Now I'm keeping more scripts than I personally use just to show you one of the benefits of Lua Frontend. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the root of this folder, open Lua Frontend, and here you can see I can toggle off ones that I don't want. So 4BY3 just changes the aspect ratio. Chaos is incompatible with pretty much everything. It's sort of a goofy little gimmick mode. Early skip is not used in races. I personally don't like growth merger. 1FM0 volume currently doesn't do anything in the version of the game we'll be playing on. So that's what my folder would look like. Yours can look different if you want, as long as you have ran, uh, some rando some logic and save anywhere. But this is pretty much it. If you're going the front end route, you're done. It doesn't matter where this folder is installed. All you'll do is you'll click start engine or engine start engine. And the next time you load the game up, it'll hook into it and you'll be randomized. There's nothing else you have to do. There's nothing you have to worry about, but you will have to run Lua front end every time you want to play the game. And it has to stay open the entire time you're playing. I'll show you next how to run this through Lua backend where you can kind of set it and forget it, but it just takes a little bit more work to get it set up. If you want to use Lua backend hook by Sirius, uh, it's a little more complicated, like I said, but not too bad. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here, this time to Sirius 902's Lua backend on GitHub. And instead of using the code button like last time, we're actually going to go over here and click on releases. And then you're going to scroll down. We're going to ignore this top one. We're going to get version 1.2.0 hook. And you're going to download dinput 8.zip, which I've already downloaded. So you're going to go ahead and grab it for yourself. Now in here, I've got it on my desktop. This is it. This is the entire... Oh, I guess it was already in there. Uh, you've got the uh, dinput8.dll. So you're just going to go ahead and extract that. And I've got a shortcut here. You're going to go to your install folder. And I've already got it pulled in. You're going to put your D input 8.dll directly into your installation folder. You're also going to grab your rando files folder from the previous step and drag that straight into here. So as you can see, I already had a seed, but I'm going to delete mine just to show you. You want chests.txt, gummies.txt, items.txt, and rewards.txt. And you want to make sure you have this dinput 8.dll in your install folder. And we're almost done, but we're not quite done. You're also going to need to go to your documents folder in Windows and find Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix. If you don't have this, just run the game once. It should auto-generate. And you're going to have to create a scripts folder. You need to drag your scripts in and Similar thing, you're going to have to name your KH folder KH1, not KH1GL. So name it KH1, just like I have here. And then you can just drop your scripts right in there. And then you're set up. From now on, every time you load Kingdom Hearts 1, it's going to run these scripts automatically.
which does mean that if you want to turn it off and just play regular Kingdom Hearts 1, you're going to need to either remove the scripts, uh, remove the dinput 8.dll, or use an in-game command once the game is loaded up to stop it, which I will tell you how to do when we get into game. The last thing that you're going to need is the original 1.0 release of the game, at least its EXE file. Now, you don't have to go pirate the game or anything. You don't have to downgrade through some complicated meth method. All you need is this.exe, which I'm going to bundle. I'm going to upload it for you guys, and I will have it available in the video description. All you're going to do is, again, go back to your install folder, delete finalmix.exe, preferably back it up, create a save somewhere. This is your official version of the game. This is what you're going to use in order to play whatever the modern, the current version is. And you're also going to need to re-replace this if the game ever updates. So you're then going to go ahead and drag in the Kingdom Hearts Final Mix.exe that I've provided for you. And that's it. You're set. You're good to go. Okay, so now that we've got everything completely set up, we should be good to play. There really isn't anything more to it, but I will go ahead and show you what it looks like using both front-end and back-end hook. And since we showed you front-end first, I'll show you front-end first now. I've got a shortcut to it here on my desktop, but that's just linked right in here. So all you're going to do is before you even load the game up, or after, it doesn't really matter, you're going to go ahead and load Lua front-end. And as you can see, I kept a bunch of extra scripts just to show you one of the advantages of front end. You're going to want to go into your rando files folder and make sure that all you have in here is chests, gummies, items, rewards, and then click off any ones that you don't want. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go through this. Unfortunately, this doesn't save between uses, which is one reason I generally just delete the scripts that I don't like. Uh, but that should be good. So then you're going to go ahead and click Engine, Start Engine, and it's going to be waiting to attach to process, and you're just going to go ahead and load the game. And I'll pull Lua up so that you can see what it's doing. There you go. Now you can see our engine console has message 51 became 59, 52 became 57. That's going to be different on every seed. But what you're looking for is down here, apply to randomization. And we can confirm that by opening back up our rando files folder. And now you have a long string of numbers.save, seed.txt, and spoilers.txt. So you don't want to open spoilers. Uh, I'll open it now just to show you what that looks like. That'll basically be all of your hints. Um, if you're in a race or something, obviously don't look at this. But if you want to go and see, oh, where was that or something, there you go. Your seed file is just a randomly generated string of numbers. You can create your own if you wanted to. Um, and if you want to run a new seed, you just delete, save, seed, and spoilers and next time you run lua you'll be you'll be good to go and that's all there is to it you do need to keep lua front end open while you're playing and you got to make sure that it's always running what you can do is you can actually come down here to auto reload and turn that on that way if you lose uh if you crash or if anything happens uh it'll it'll work itself back in so that's it that's that's everything you need to get started with randomizer. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording and I'll come back and show you what it looks like if you're using Lua backend hook instead. Okay. I had a bit of a recording issue there, but I think we're back. So I've gone ahead and reinstalled D input eight. So backend hook, like I showed you how to do, and I've created a shortcut to it on my desktop so that I have easy access to it so that I can come in and 
like I told you, if you want to run a new seed, you just delete seed.txt, whatever, just to show you. That's just in the rando, fo rando files folder that we created together earlier in our install directory. So now that we have that, we're good. We can just load the game. Now we don't need to open up a GUI. We don't need to have any kind of console running. If we just let this go from here on out, we're done. We can play the randomizer. We can get into game. But if you're someone who wants the comfort of knowing that you had it uh, randomized, or if you're going to be in races where we generally you need to prove that you're on the same seed by showing that you have the same randomization numbers, with Lua Backend Hook, you can just hit F2 at any point in time, and there you go. Now, if for some reason you needed to reload it, you can just hit F1. And when you're ready to close it, you can hit F2 again. And that's it. You've now done everything you need to start playing the game. Ignore the little blop of me turning my controller back on, and I'll just show you uh, very quickly what it looks like when you get in game. Just kind of prove that we're randomized and that everything's working. So you're going to go ahead and hit L2, R2, L1, and select when you're on the intro cutscene. And there you go. You can pop right out to your gummy ship. Now, this will revert you back to the 1.0 release of the game, regardless of how you are playing it. You can have the most up-to-date version on Epic Game Store. As long as you're using this, the, the, what do you want to call it, the .exe that I provided for you, which is just the official original .exe. There's nothing special about it. Uh, you'll be able to play. And then you can see you can load into any world you want and play randomizer so thanks for coming by i hope this helped anybody if you people are curious i don't know who's watching if anybody uh if people are curious on kind of how do i start playing randomizer as in what are strategies what are the goals of the game things like that maybe i'll come back and i'll do a second video that sort of goes over the basics and stuff you'll want to be aware of but for now i'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the description of the video or pop into our Discord and ask in the help or the general chats there. Everybody's pretty nice and we'll we'll try to get you sorted. But if you follow these steps, it should work. The only thing I can say is if you're trying front end and it doesn't work for you, try running it in administrator mode. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, sign off. I hope you don't mind how much of a, a stutterer I am. And I will catch you guys later. Enjoy Rando and have a great day.